In this video, I'm going to take a look at the turtle screen method, exit on click. We considered this computer program in the last video, and I'm quickly going to go over it again here. This line will import turtle so we can use its features. And this line here is going to use the screen class associated with the turtle module. And this is going to create an instance of that class. And this is going to be the name of that instance. And we can show that schematically here. We know we have an execution space. This is the screen class and an instance of it is created and we can see it's labelled with the name drawing underscore area which is the name here in the code. Once the object is in existence as you can see within the execution space we can remove the class from the schematic diagram to simplify matters. Now this is a message to the instance of the class, i.e. the object, and we can show that schematically in the diagram here. This is the message, and you see it's going to invoke this method, passing this argument. Once the message is over, the object goes back to waiting for something else to be sent to it. And of course, what these two lines will do, it'll produce the following. And we can see here, we have the title screen demo, which was what we were passing here in the message. To this program, I'm going to add this line. And this will have an effect upon the execution of the program in this way. Here you can see the cursor moving around within the screen. If I now click on the left button of the mouse, you can see it disappears. Now that is what will happen at runtime. So what this line of code has achieved is the ability for me as the user to click on to the area of the screen and it will disappear, it'll exit. Now this object was based on the class we saw at the beginning of this video, the screen class. Now apart from the methods we've already seen that belong to this class, there are other methods that allow the instances of this class, i.e. this object, to listen for events that take place, such as the clicking on a mouse that the object here will respond to. So I like to show the ability of this object to listen for an event as shown here. I put an ear on it saying that this is effectively listening for an event to take place. Now, when the user clicks on the screen, which I'm going to show schematically here, with the dotted line representing the click of the mouse, the object will be able to hear that and will be able to react to it. And it reacts to it by executing this method here, which would be one of the methods in this object. And the consequence of that is the object disappears. And of course the program is now finished, so the execution space is no longer relevant, so that too will disappear. So to summarize, this creates an instance of the screen class. This sends a message to that instance, changing the title of the object that's been created. And this here ensures that when the user clicks on the mouse, when the mouse cursor is within the area of the screen, then the screen will exit. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?